Another day, another change to plans for a school district for fall classes. We know it feels like whiplash, right? With COVID still very much around, districts are just trying to keep up with what's best for the community. Liz Kotelik is following the latest developments with two school districts. Liz, there's just no one right answer. Oh, isn't that true, Corey? These are such tough decisions that districts are making. And starting with Cherry Creek, it's the decision they're still trying to figure out. I know I can't make everybody happy. I know I won't. And that's honestly not my job. My job is to make the right decision for the right reasons. And as I do that, know that I will be guided by science and facts with our students and our staff centered in my heart as we move forward. The district says they'll make a final decision about reopening plans next week, but they did say yesterday if they do decide to go forward with in-person learning, students in pre-K through fifth grade would physically go to school five days a week. The district says because of data from CDPHE and global evidence at this point, these students would have normal class sizes and have a pretty much normal day. Middle and high school students would pot uh, potentially participate in a hybrid option where they'd be split into cohorts and participate in in-person learning two days a a week and remote learning for three days. So that's Cherry Creek. Now moving on to DPS, they made a huge announcement yesterday that their students will be learning remotely through the first quarter. We're committed to doing quality, rigorous remote learning for all of our students, as it's likely that we will need to return to this option during the year in response to changing health conditions. The district right now is working on bringing back small groups of students as soon as September 8th. These are students who would require special learning, students who use English as a second language, and younger students in kindergarten or below. All students, though, will have access to meals at schools, and the district is working to distribute Chromebook laptops and high-speed internet to families who may need it. And then the teachers are being asked to have more live remote sessions and teacher office hours as well to provide individual and small group support. DPS had previously pushed back their start date, and now they're saying and that's not going to happen anymore. They're just going to have completely fully online school, Corey, but things are changing by the hour, by the week. I mean, it is pretty crazy out there. So for everybody who's trying to keep up, we have everything listed on our website, 9news.com by district. Gosh, it is so tough. I mean, he's right. You can't please everyone. We know that all too well, mm -hmm. but it is just such a tough call for all of the districts figuring it out. It's different for each district. It's different for each household even. So we appreciate you, you know, keeping track of everything because it is so fluid, like you were saying, Liz. Thank you.